Well, and if you look back at the last six years, I think not just workers' comp, but uh, overall uh, in, in the legislature and working with the governor, uh, we have tried to make Ohio a better place to do business. And I'm sure the governor will, uh, will go into more detail about some of these things, but I think today is just the latest step uh, in the transformation of our state. Uh, so uh, we've gone from 9.3% unemployment uh, roughly in January 2011 to around 5% today. We've added 400,000 new jobs, and, and that hasn't happened by accident. That's happened because uh, we've tried to make government run more efficiently, more effectively, uh, and, and get it out of the way of business growth. So we've cut taxes. Uh, we've cut net income taxes by around $5 billion over that span. Uh, we've improved the way we do regulations through the Common Sense Initiative and seen a significant decrease in new regulatory filings, uh, but also reviewed and amended or repealed uh, thousands of uh, pre-existing regulations uh, that, that were hurting the economy. Uh, and, and today, um, we announced at least the third major uh, rebate uh, for the workers' comp system. Uh, and you heard the numbers earlier, it's $1.1 billion dollars in rebates overall for private sector employees. That's about a 66% cut, um, functioning, uh, frankly, uh, largely the same way a business tax cut would. Um, but there's also uh, significant uh, benefits for local governments and for school districts as well. Uh, of that 1.1 billion, $92 million is going back to uh, local governments directly. I believe about $41 million is going to school districts. Um, and then almost a billion dollars to Ohio's private sector employers. So um, this is a, a pretty significant day. It's, it's making Ohio more competitive. It should be a, a big boost um, for the year to uh, Ohio's employers. And uh, this is just the latest step uh, in our move toward making Ohio the most business-friendly state in the country. Thank you.